Hey my friend, if you want to make some kind of generative patterns, uh, evolving patterns inside Ableton Live, then this video is for you. It sounds like this one. We create some parts of that and to be fair it takes some work you know I took some trial and error basically this is a point of view video because I just experimenting with that thing with the Turing machine you know uh, it's a modular module adapted to Max for Life it's a fairly old tool actually came out a few years ago but uh, still I wanted to test it this one is for free to download there's another one that is I think better um, but it's um, it costs you but still um, I'm I grabbed that one probably because I just want to test how it works you know and what I can come up with what it can come up with and if it works the free version then opting for the paid one is great so this is kind of a trial you know and uh, yeah hope you like this my name is Savannah from RuffinStudio.com where I share weekly videos on the topic of minimal house raw minimal micro house whatever you want to call this genre so yeah have fun experimenting again this sound here is created entirely with Ableton Live freeware tools um, that you can get for free uh, and it gets you some kind of a modular vibe right so yeah let's jump right in have fun G. Let's quickly set this up here and I'm opting first for a simple sound, like this pad kind of sound, right? And then I'm simply experimenting a little bit to see if I can come up with something interesting, an interesting pattern maybe that I like. And as you can see, I inserted MD Snake and then the Turing Machine after that, right? Now let's experiment a little bit until we get a pattern that works. And by the way, you see this uh, random button, right? If we set it to lock, it always repeats the same pattern, right? But if we set it to around three o'clock, like it is right now, it generates some new sounds here, you know, not just random, but if you set it to 12, it's always random, right? But uh, around three-ish, it's, it's somehow <laughs> random. This makes sense. Okay, now let's bring in another tool which I really, really love, which is the flat work. It's based on the modular module um, Mutable Instruments Plates for free, you know? It's crazy, right? Just trying to set this thing up, um, it's not really exciting right now, right? But uh, we will get there. This is a normal sequence without the Turing machine, right?
closer to those random generated modular sounds, the modular vibe, right? Without the Turing machine, again, with the Turing machine, let's add some other stuff here. You can see we have uh, another uh, tool here where we basically can send the same Turing machine setting to a different channel, right? I could probably just group that also into an instrument track, probably, right? But uh, just for uh, fun's sake, let's use it that way first. like those sounds maybe adding a, a little uh, chorus to it It's not perfect yet, but just to show you what's possible with that thing, right? It takes a little bit trial and error, to be honest. I don't really get all this stuff that it says here, but uh, it's open for experimentation and I'm sure you will get some nice sounds out of it. channel right with another flash break on it on it. Seems like it always stays the same but as you just heard it, it evolves, right? Changes. Always add some stuff, right? It changes a little bit. Just listen.
now let's see if we can do something with some textures some synth sounds maybe for that we use wave table synth from Ableton Live let's make some simple sound quickly I'll jump back into the video in a second but before we do so I want to say thank you thank you that you watched so far really this means a lot I wouldn't make this those videos if no one would watch so you watch this for so I want to reward that and I want to give you something for free which is my Ableton Live one tool preset pack so this is basically Ableton Live based stock pack those are basically presets you know that you can drag and drop into your uh, channels let's jump quickly in and see some examples how this can help you out and how it can inspire you and then we jump back to the content thanks for watching sounds pretty different right those are little sound design tools to keep you going hopefully go and grab it for free Let's make this a little bit dirtier maybe, right, automated, another tool here, right, pretty simple. Again, those are not the, the most complicated whatever tools, they are simple, straightforward tool to make a little bit of impact to add uh, those little things that I like to talk all the time in my videos which is add things that you can feel but not hear you know so that's the sound right clean and nice and now let's transform it with those tools of course we want some additional grooves right can transform shit pretty easily with those tools it lets you really tweak stuff you know that's my whole point it's not the fanciest shit but it's quick and an easy fix and that inspires you you know combine it add more stuff add more tools and it keeps you going I hope so hope it does you know so let's add some stuff to this maybe we'll Right. Let's make quick A B. Sounds pretty different, right? Those are little sound design tools to keep you going. Hopefully, go and grab it for free. I also want to show what's possible with one simple, simplistic, minimalistic tools. You know, where you can transform your shit with stock plugins. So yeah, if you want that, grab it on the link below. Thanks for watching. Now let's get back to the to the content.
stuff going on if you want to know how to create the other stuff i link that video the touring machine so for the wave table we get touring machine doing its thing and also some simple LFO where I uh, apply to the filter that opens and closes slowly it gives some variation and uh, put that in place get some interesting stuff going on I think so yeah that's it I hope you like it and have some fun experimenting, download that touring machine and have fun experimenting with it.